Hi students, today we will be starting with a new lesson. Lesson number 9. Our universe, the solar system. So can you imagine the size of the universe? Kitta bada universe hota hai? No, you cannot even imagine the size of the universe. It is very vast. It is very big. Lot of big things, enormous big things are there in the universe. It consists of stars, galaxies, moon, planets. Isn't it? Not only these, they consist of asteroids, meteoroids, comets. Lot of them. So, you will find it very interesting. Right? So, there are many amazing things in the universe, right? That are visible in the sky even. In the daytime, we can see the sun in the sky, isn't it? So, what is sun? Sun is a star, right? Sun is a star. It is a ball of hot burning gases. So, you can see here what's written. Big Bang theory with red words. What's Big Bang? How did the universe came into being commonly accepted to be created by a Big Bang? Oh, there was a great giant explosion, a big explosion, right? So which created this universe? Few years back? No, it happened 15 billion years ago, right? So let's study about one by one, planets, stars, all of them we are going to read. Let's start with stars. What are stars? We see stars on a clear night, right? Isn't it? So everybody likes to see stars, right? Stars sometimes form some patterns also. Stars we have already discussed, these are the ball of hot burning gases, right? They appear to be very tiny. But they are much bigger in size, even bigger than the planets. Okay? Sun is the closest star to the earth. What is sun? Sun is the closest star to the earth, right? That's why it appears to be a little bigger compared to the other stars which we see in the night. Okay? So, when stars form some pattern, they are called constellations, right? They form some patterns. Wait, I'll show you. You can see here, what are constellations? Constellations are the group of stars that form a pattern in the sky. Okay? So, we'll be reading about some constellations here. There are uh, even more than... 88 known constellations like uh, Orion, Ursa Major, Ursa Minor, Scorpius. All these are the important constellations which we can see. Okay. Stars in a constellation are not close to each other. They appear to be forming some patterns. So they appear to be close to each other. But when viewed from Earth, they seem to be group together right it, they appear to be close to each other but they are millions and millions of kilometers far from each other so you can see many of them just now i discussed ursa major ursa minor many of these constellations and many more i just now told you there are more than 88 constellation well-known constellations here let's come to the next slide Planets. What are planets? We live on planet Earth, right? So what is a planet? Planet is a heavenly body that revolves around a star. A body that revolves around a star like Earth is revolving around with star sun. So Earth is a planet, right? How many planets are there in total? There are total eight planets in our Milky Way galaxy, right? Eight planets for of them are the inner planets and four of them are the outer planets we are going to discuss okay so what do the planets do planets have a fixed path on which they move around the star that's called the orbit isn't it they have a path on which they 
revolve that's the orbit so the eight planets revolve around the sun planets do they have their own light planets have their own light like a star no planets do not have their own light they reflect the light that received from the stars okay they are much smaller in size planets are much smaller in size than the stars so now comes the satellites what are satellites satellites are the objects that revolve around a planet like a moon moon is the natural satellite of the earth isn't it so it is revolving around earth so it's a satellite there are two types of satellite natural satellite and artificial satellites what are natural satellites natural satellites are the satellite that naturally occur okay they are not man made so uh, whereas artificial satellites what are artificial satellites that are being left into the space okay so you can see here artificial satellites are object built they are man made they are built and are sent in into earth's orbit by humans for the lot of research work right satellites help us in communication they help us to know about the forecast weather then upcoming storms thunders or uh, um, long distance phone calls we have satellites na at the phone, jab, when we hum mobile se hum phone milate hain to hamara phone kaise milta hai because of the satellites only right so to make long distance phone calls we need satellites so satellites are playing a vital role in our life so they are called man made satellites whereas natural satellites are the are the bodies that naturally occur okay so you can see here it's written a natural satellite is a small body that orbits a larger body okay so moon orbiting a planet moon is much smaller compared to earth isn't it coming to the next slide the solar system so the solar system it consists of sun eight planets and their satellites okay so uh, these eight planets are revolving around the star and which is that star sun so uh, four of them out of these eight are the inner planets and four of them are the outer planets what are inner planets the solar system is divided into inner planets and outer planets mercury venus earth mars the first four planets closest to the sun are inner planets and jupiter saturn uranus and neptune are outer planets okay now pluto has been removed from the solar system because of very small size it is a dwarf planet it is no more included in the solar system so the dwarf planet pluto is the oldest known member of the smaller group of the frozen world okay it was the coldest planet a very small one that's why now we have only eight planets in the solar system earlier we used to have nine planets so uh, i hope you found interesting knowing all these facts read page number 1991 from the book